Hello, love. This is Love Life with Eve. Welcome home to Eden. So I want to talk today about why women divorce men at such an alarming rate now and how you can avoid that. How you can know the secret to keep your woman happy in, in daily life, basically. So I'm out there doing my solar job and I meet a lot of people. I meet a lot of um, homeowners. And what I notice is there's a lot of uh, divorced men and in general the men are really sad about it. They've lost their kids, they've lost all those meals together, they lost the family time, they lost all that sex, all the cuddling, all the companionship, and they really, really miss it. They don't really have a way to replace it with other guys so easily. Then I meet all these women that are the divorced women and they're in the opposite mood. They are so thankful that they don't have to have the guy around anymore. And when I say to them, well, well, how come? It's always the same answer. All right. The women are just, it's just two things. It's, there's nobody um, being impatient with me and nobody around being negative. Now, the guys look at this and they go like, wait a second. All I do is like express myself, kick my boots off and shout about how work was difficult and tell her, hey, could she just hurry up so we could get to the car, you know? How would she give up all those meals together, all that sex, all that companionship, all the financial, you know, support just because of impatience and a little negativity here and there? What's with the women? <laughs> so this, this is how you can understand this. For women, for, for men, this impatience thing, it's really, for them, it's about being efficient. It's about using their energy strongly. They don't see it as uh, a negative. They see it as a positive. It's part of how they're more, more productive as men. And they don't see their negativity uh, necessarily as a bad thing either because when they're with other guys, there's the tendency to like, you know, blow off steam, um, swear a little bit and, um, you know, complain about what you saw and, 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 you know, think about better, better ways to live. And, and there's a loud volume to that. But for the women, these, these ways that men express themselves are, they go straight into our hearts. <laughs> and not only that, women are doing something that you guys don't really know about until you know about it, <laughs> until you sustain positivity for long enough and you sustain uh, flow energy without pushing her for long enough, you will be <laughs> taken with her where she goes when you're not there. But most of the time, us women have to do what we do to sustain and nourish ourselves as soon as the guys are gone. And we can't do it with them because they're pushing too fast. They're going too fast in general in every way, especially in sex, and trying to get somewhere instead of be here now. And they are um, negative. So what women are doing that you really, really need to understand is that we are magic builders. Women build magic. We do. We weave a spell, especially when men are gone, of absolute divinity energy. This energy is so pure and so high and so loving that it cannot be interrupted by intermittent cussing and demanding about little uh, mundane minutiae. It's a flow energy where we, we put on our candles, we turn on our incense, we, we put on the music, we dance a little bit, we laugh together, we cuddle uh, or watch a little movie or um, start writing or doing our art, and we are in complete positivity. We're thinking positivity about life and we're hopeful and um, we're in a relaxed energy that does not get pushed because it is actually the energy that creates. So creative energy has a pace that's a little slower, but the thing is it's so powerful that it gets 10 million things done more quickly by being at the powerful pace of creation. 
and women know this. So when men are pushing us to go faster, we know that they're undoing us. They're undoing our effectiveness. They're undoing our magic spell that would actually bring all the spiritual energy that would sustain and, and, and infuse the whole situation and guide us and, and bring laughter and joy that would change the agenda for the day because we would be guided by uh, another level, another level. So that magic spell that women weave and create it's absolutely dependent on total positivity, relaxation, and, and no pushing, <laughs> no impatience. So when the guy is impatient with us, we kind of end up hop, hop to, like try to make him happy. Like, oh, and so it's the feeling like, will he just leave? Can he just leave so I can get back to my magic? I'm having to keep doing these things to make him happy. And it never makes him happy. It's never enough because he's never accomplished enough. He always wants more power and more efficiency. And, <laughs> and, and we can't even make him, we can't put the magic into the stew we want to feed him because he's ruined our um, connection to divine goddess source, which is different than God's source, right? So if he will just go out <laughs> and do his man thing with man guys and be loud and, and fast and efficient, it's all good. It's just that in the home with woman, she reigns supreme in the home. You need to learn this. Don't try to be an equal with her in the home. Don't try to dominate her or make her be more cleanly or, or more efficient. Instead, let her be your priestess of nourishment in the home. Go there in a prayerful way. When you go home, take off your shoes at the door bow a little bit when you enter that doorway because you're coming into the sacred domain of the feminine divine and if you approach her and your home that way you will start to be nourished in a whole nother level than you ever have dreamed of you'll get to be allowed to go into feminine magic space now in feminine magic space when with the men who learn this who who learn to watch women and be quiet enough and enjoy their pace and join with them and say only positive things to feed her fire about how beautiful she is or how good it smells that soup or 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 just come in and like dance a little bit with her and 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 be present instead of turning on some loud tv keeping on another radio going shouting on his phone all the business he's still doing you see there's absolutely no respect for the temple when you do that. You're treating it like your workspace, and she wants a divorce. <laughs> She's bearing with you. When you're home and you destroy the temple space and you don't allow all the gifts she has to give you, See, she can't shower you with anything. It's almost useless that she's with you because she knows you're never going to be receptive enough, open enough, and a relaxed enough pace to be able to even feel <laughs> that her magic exists, to, to even know the difference between a woman who's putting out out of um, perfunctory, good wifely, you know, have to, and a woman who is opening like a flower because she wants to give to you her nectar. <laughs> yeah. So impatience and negativity are a profound detriment to the feminine. Profound. Whereas for men, they're actually kind of empowering as long as you do them elsewhere, not in the home. And as long as you do them with a positive intent to lift up your life, to lift up the lives of your brothers, not to tear them down or to tear women down or to complain about your life in some pathetic, entitled, babyish way as if everything should be on your terms. That's not going to help you either. And the women know that. We know that if we start complaining about our children and about our, our men providing in the, whatever way we... We're going to undo uh, the gift of the gods, right? So she is ahead of you. Don't see her as less because she wants to be slower and, and she wants to be positive. Don't see her as some innocent that just doesn't know anything because she's not negative enough. Positivity, when you go in positive, the positive direction, it actually is where truth and creation exist because creation comes out of love. It comes out of love. 
So when you go to the positive spectrum of any topic, any situation, and you pour your focus onto the, the, the love aspect and the appreciation aspect, suddenly the whole thing will turn on a dime and this enormous amount of energy will be available to you to change your life, to change the situation, to enjoy what is now. So women's magic spells woven into the home. I'm sharing with you, we wait for the men to leave so that we can do it because most men cannot join with it. But if you learn enough about silence, about positive word flowers, five positive praises for every word that comes out of your mouth, only one negative is allowed for every five positive things you say in the house with her. She will not divorce you. She will never need to. She'll be able to keep her feminine, powerful magic spell weaver intact. And she will be able to weave a tapestry that she knows is so beautiful and so nourishing for you and her children and your children and, and your time together that she will feel that she is effective. You see, because it's not just you that wants to be effective. Women want to be effective lovers, effective happiness bringers, effective uh, sensual enjoyers. <laughs> How is she ever going to enjoy her sensuality with you around if you're impatient and negative? She's waiting for you to leave so that she can take her bath with good music and, and, and watch some funny show and absolutely love her day and say only good things to everybody she meets. Now, guys don't believe that women can be this positive and pa passionate about life and be sincere. Like, I'm, I'm that way about my solar energy job. I really know that whether or not we save the humans is not as important as the fact that we try to. And that I feel good that, that solar is so clean. But I'm training a guy the other day, and he can't believe that I'm so positive. He, he really thinks that I'm either a fool or um, just positivity just isn't true. It doesn't matter, like if it's true, false or not, it doesn't even matter. It just matters that positivity itself engenders energy, it creates, and negativity stops and destroys. So what do you wanna do with your time? Well, women wanna create, and if the men are gonna keep stopping the energy and, and shutting her down, she cannot embody her potential as a creatress. So no more negativity, <laughs> no more of those little put downs and those little complaints about how long things are taking and where's your socks and all that. No, you don't get to do it. <laughs> you can ask politely, hey, do you know where I put my socks? Not assuming she should know, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, and, and when it's taking a little longer to get somewhere, instead of being a, a tyrant about it, try, oh my gosh, we're going to have so much fun relaxing into this experience. If we get there late, it's going to be okay because we're enjoying our time together and we're bringing the experience of who we are wherever we go. She doesn't want to divorce you anymore. No, this is a long-term relationship you're building of, of, of entering the magic spell of woman and she's going to be sustaining you, boyfriend, on such a deep level. Once you learn how to join with the magic, you get all those magic potions given to you. You get to live inside the castle of her divine feminine uh, feast going on. <laughs> yeah, so all you do is tame your anger and impatience, use it with the guys for fun, but really learn from her about positivity. You could create much more in your life if you turn positive. And if you relax into the pace of creation, you'll be much more effective, much more organized, much more uh, divinely inspired. <laughs> Yay, thank you for being with me.